Javala back here to the, to your left, back back row. Um, just overall, the thoughts about the game like this one, when you had battle back and tie, had to leave the overtime, and then find yourselves in a situation where you had a tough loss here on the final. This is not a home court now. Just a tough, well, game, a tough game. How tough a game was this for you guys? Um, it sucked uh, to lose this way. Uh, I felt like we had control of the uh, the whole game. Um, especially when we made that run at the end of the first half. Uh, we felt really good, but, you know, we made a couple of mistakes at the end, and uh, the, um, uh, and it wasn't good on our part. Joel, uh, Steve Paul, Pat Foster. Yeah, we're going to Um, it wasn't strange. I mean, we we saw we knew that he made a two pointer, so the game was tight. So everybody, we we know we were uh, happy, but we knew that uh, we had a bigger goal, and that was to finish over town. But we didn't finish it. But uh, man, we were happy that we got to um, push it to over town. But uh, you know, but when we went right back to the bench, we uh, make sure uh, to stay focused. Joel on your left, Martin Sayes, Philadelphia Empire. Uh, Red said that some of this might have been youth, but some of it might have been the Celtics playing good defense and making you make mistakes at the end. What do you think? Was it youth? Was it them? Why did you guys make so many mistakes late? Um, I don't like blaming uh, youth. Um, I mean, uh, we made mistakes. It doesn't matter how old we are, and it doesn't matter that we've never been in this position. You got to give them a lot of credit. Uh, they competed. Um, they showed up when the time, when it was the time to show up, and uh, we didn't. So you got to give them a lot of credit. But you know, I hate to say that it was youth. It was inexperienced. Uh, we just got to do better. Joel and Barkwitz to your right. Uh, can you just address the defense that you were facing, uh, whether it was Horford or Baines? Uh, you certainly had some electric plays, uh, but it, it seemed really physical out there as well. Uh, it was physical. They did a they did a good job, but uh, um, I don't see how it's possible for someone to guard me and have zero fouls. So uh, you know, I, I thought a couple of plays it wasn't fair, but. Guy, like I said, you got to give Al a lot of credit, competed, uh, you know, he made some plays uh, for his team and uh, he got them to win. But uh, like I said, uh, you know, I'm too big. Uh, I mean, I guess it's the playoffs. It's my first time here, so I'm learning. Um, but uh, I'm too big not to be fouled every time I go to the basket or every time I post up. Joel, what was the plan to your left? What was the plan defensively on that last inbounds play? It looked like you switched off onto Jalen Brown. Can you kind of take us through the plan? There? Uh, when the when the score? The Horford one where he sealed off coverage. Uh, it was uh, it was about switching everything. Uh, you know uh, that was a good play on their part. Um, but we were supposed to switch everything and we did. And Horford just got a, um, a good position and he uh, ended up scoring. So well, the uh, the turnover late in uh, regulation here to your left, uh, when, when JJ made the pass and kind of nobody was there, it looked like you and Ben like, got tangled up a little bit. What happened on that play? What was supposed to happen? Uh, we did. Uh, we run that play all the time, and. Uh, you know, uh, kind of JJ told me what he was thinking about, and uh, you know, in that in that situation, uh, kind of supposed to set the screen for Ben, uh, and sometimes it takes time, and uh, you know, but um, I understand JJ the way he threw the ball. It was, I mean, at that point there was eight seconds left, so if he would have ended up uh, ended off the ball to me, and if he hadn't gotten any shot, uh, that was gonna give me about four or three seconds to go get a shot or go get a bucket. So that's what kind of, that's I think that's what happened. And, you know, just uh, making sure that, you know, if he doesn't get a shot and uh, I, 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 I'll go try to get something. But it was just unfortunate. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, we made a couple of dumb mistakes. Uh, he's on us. Uh, next game, we got to do better. Uh, that's a big one. We don't go home. Uh, never been in this situation, so 
I'm excited. It's going to be a good game. Um, and I feel like it's going to be a different energy, you know, when you know that. I mean, this is your last chance. You always end up playing better. And uh, But, you know, but the game, I thought, you, like I said, we had control. And uh, at the end, we just make, made a couple of mistakes. Jessica Camarado, NBC Sports Philadelphia. Before the game, Coach had said that you guys could learn more about yourselves in the playoffs than you did the entire regular season. What are you learning about yourself in the playoffs? Mm, I don't know. He's different. Uh, you know, um, like, like I've always said, I feel like I was built for this moment. Uh, you know, it's different. Uh, it's a lot uh, for a lot of us. This is our first time here. And uh, we learned it, you know. Uh, f the first game, we didn't play well, and uh, it was a blowout. And then the second game, we came back. We played better, but we lost. And then tonight, I felt like we should have won. Uh, you know, I felt like we had uh, a lot of advantage. Um, but, you know, uh, now every game you go, you go out and play, uh, you learn something new. And I'm sure uh, Monday's game is going to be different. Well, Sarah Todd, uh, Philadelphia Inquirer, Philly.com. You've said to us a lot of times after games that you take a lot of responsibility, whether it's win or loss, especially in a loss. You have Bellinelli shooting that last shot in regulation and then taking that final shot in overtime. Do you feel like maybe it was an unfair position for him to be in to try to like win on both ends of the clock? Uh, it wasn't unfair, you know. Um, I feel like, um, like I said, I feel like I, I, I was built for this type of moment, but sometimes you don't get the opportunity. But, I mean, uh, that's what he does, you know. We got a lot of guys that do that, JJ, him. Uh, you know, we got a lot of options. It's just not about uh, that the best player should take the last shot. I mean, if I feel like I'm the best player, I want to take the last shot. But if I'm not open, you know, someone's got to gotta get open and do that. But. Um, you know, we NBA players, we got a job to do, and uh, in that type of situation, that's to make shots. And he did. He put us in overtime, and then the last shot, it was a complicated one, but uh, you know, I give him a lot of credit to push us to uh, overtime.